You want to see the Rotor Brush 3 in action? I'm going to test out the Rotor Brush 3 and compare it to the Rotor Brush 2. Let's dive into it. So today I'm going to do a comparison of the Rotor Brush 2 versus the Rotor Brush 3. I downloaded a beta version of Adobe After Effects and I'm going to test out the new Rotor Brush 3. So I'm going to use the same exact clip on both softwares and I'm going to try to roto pretty much the same with the same exact settings. All right, let's start out with the Rotor Brush 2. All right, so I have a clip here of a woman running down the street. It's a nice texture in the background, so we'll see what, what it can do. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my Roto, and I'll speed this up for your viewing pleasure. So let's take a look at the Rotor Brush 2, how it came out on the first pass. Not a great first pass. You could see the hair by her neck. You could see there's some stuff right here that I didn't pick up there. All right, so that's just a first pass of my Roto. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to do the same exact thing with the Rotor Brush 3, and I'm going to see which one comes out better on the first pass. So in order to download the After Effects beta, I'm going to go to my Adobe Creative Cloud application. Then I'm going to go down to beta apps and I'm going to click on After Effects beta and I'm going to download it. Okay, so I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to try to rotor brush exactly the same and use the same exact refine edge settings. And I'll speed this up for your viewing pleasure. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at how the Rotor Brush 3 performed. Okay, I think overall the Rotor Brush 3 did a little bit better with the hair and fine tuning the hair, which was the hardest one. I mean, obviously the spots that are around her, her arm and her neck and overall, it just feels like a, a tighter rotoscope. Obviously, the, again, this is first pass, so all this stuff can be fine-tuned easily. The hair, I think, was the big is the biggest difference that I see at first glance. What I'm seeing is that the Rotobrush 3 is pretty good. Let's check out another example. So I'm not gonna bore you with rotoscoping this clip, but I am gonna show you the difference. So I have a woman here, it's a little bit easier of a rotoscope because it's more of a silhouette, but I'm just gonna show you the difference of the Rotor Brush 2 and the Rotor Brush 3. So let's take a look. Okay, you can see the difference here. All right, so this is the Roto 2. You can see the dress is okay. Obviously a lot of re refinements need to be made. But now look, let's look at the Rotor Brush 3 with this clip does a lot better with the hair and it does a lot better with overall her body and her head. So at first glance and at first pass, the Rotor Burst 3 gives you a really good starting point. So that's just a quick tip. Obviously this is still in beta, but I just wanted to give you guys a sneak preview of what it looks like. Could get better, who knows? But until then, this is what we got. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps your videos in the future. See you next time. And if you want to check out some of my other rotoscoping videos, check them out.